So you want to create a really professional logo, but you don't want to spend a bunch of time, money, and all the headaches of figuring out a new software. I'm going to show you how to easily do this, and I'm going to show you how to make logos just like the one I made here, or here, oh, not that one, or here, or even this one right here. So it's really simple, really easy. What a logo is, honestly, it's just some image and some text, and then just coloring that image and text. Again, it's just image and text. There you go. And that's it. That's what a logo is. Image and text and combining those images and text, aligning them and coloring them the right way. I mean, that's it. That's what a logo is. Some people spend $1,000 on the logo, getting it just right and uh, trying to make it professional and custom. What also makes a logo really good is it represents you and your brand. So doing these other AI things that just pumps out these logos that look like everybody else is probably not the best idea. You want to make your logo look custom to you and that's where I come in. So the first thing I do is I go to Logo Maker, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R, like that without the E, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R. I'll put it in the link below, but follow along with me because I'm going to show you how easy this is and uh, click this Start My Design right here. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to go to a new canvas that looks like this, where you could get uh, Im uh, images and text, and you could just click on these things, and it'll go on the canvas. You could add your uh, different types of fonts. They have all these really cool uh, designer fonts, and then you could start coloring your stuff using this color palette here, and, it, and then what I call the super color palette, which is a gradient color palette here, uh, which is really, really cool. So let's first get some inspiration. And I'm going to use uh, this one as inspiration. So let's go ahead and, and make th something like this, okay? I'm not going to make this exact one because I want to make a new one with you on the spot. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get a background. And I use the shape area here to make a background. See this little shape area? I'm going to make a square. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There you go. And I'm just going to drag the corners and click on that right there. Really easy to do. And I'm going to color it. And that's a good color right there. Now I'm going to find some text to put on this. Now let's say I wanted to find like a lion or something. I would just type in lion. And I could look through all these graphics. And I could just pull in <clears throat> any of these uh, lion pieces. Let's just say I wanted this one. I could put it on here. And I could color it however I want to color it. But let's say for some reason you don't find the image that you really want. You could just go online and I go to Pixabay. I'm going to put the link below. And you could look for a lion. And what I do is I go to Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. And you could download these royalty free. And I look for lion, for example. And I don't look for the images. I go here and I click on uh, vectors. There it is. And I download the vectors. This is just a commercial kind of ad right here. But below that, you'll see all these things. And let's say I want this one right here. Okay, so I click on it and I go ahead and click download. Now it may, and then I'm going to click on a uh, vector right there and download. It may ask you to. Uh, sign up. So I'm just going to do that here. And once you sign up, it's going to allow you to download this image. And I'm going to download the vector SVG. Now, the reason why you want to download the SVG, and I'm going to show you in just a second, is because you could color it now. So now I'm going to upload this SVG by just going up to the top and clicking upload image here. And then click this button here. There it is. And there it is. Just like that. Here's what's really cool about this SVG. It will never get blurry, no matter what, if you zoom in and zoom out. And you could go to this paint bucket tool, and you could paint it if you want to. You could click on these little things, and you could just start painting different colors if you wanted to. Let's just say you wanted a different color, for example. I like that white, so I'm just going to click back, back, back on this little undo button right here. And go back to the select tool so I could select it. And there you go. So now I have this right here. Now I want to get some text below this. So let's, or on the side of it, let's just do the side. No, that's kind of cool. Let's make this the logo here. And I'm going to click text. And I'm going to click the lion logo. There you go. And I want to make it white. And I could change the font like this, however you want to. But I kind of like this one. That's a nice logo of font right there. And then I'm going to put a sub headline down below, just like this. So I'm going to go back over here to the text. And I'm going to say 
this is a cool logo. I don't know. I'm just coming up with some subtext. I like my subtext, the one at the bottom, the tagline, to be thin fonts. So I'm going to go to my thin font area, click on that, and I'm going to go to a different thin font that kind of pairs well with this one up there. So I want to really make it look like it's part of that right there. So that looks kind of good. And I could put this under here. And I could also space it out if I wanted to by clicking the styles and spacing it out a little bit more if I wanted to. And there you go. That looks like a really, really professional logo. Um, and I'm just going to align it. When you align this, you'll notice it clicks and it kind of centers it for you, which is really, really great. Same with this. So this is a custom logo now that I just created uh, with this. And you could do uh, any color you want, like I just showed you. Um, and you could basically just start adding different things. So I got these SVG images online. Um, I got this from probably Logo Maker. I got this cat um, from some online area where I, I found an SVG online, like Pixabay or something like that. And it allows you just to add anything you want, color it however you want, and it makes it super simple. And when you're done making your logo, all you have to do is press save, which is this upper right little floppy disk right here. This this little save icon. And what it's going to do is going to process your logos in high resolution format, just like this. And you can get the high resolution formats for professional use for your website and for printing. This is the vector files. Uh, this is why I like Logo Maker because they do give you these vector files. Everything that goes on the canvas is a vector, and which means it'll never get blurry and just by clicking the download your files this one is $29 and this one down here is a low resolution version that's free all you have to do is just click on that I recommend if you like your logo definitely get the vector files because they're super professional you could also get the social media files with them and uh, the website files as well. So that's how you create a professional logo. I recommend just playing with different icons and fonts and trying to pair those fonts together with colors. Try to get inspiration off of other logos online. And remember, stay creative. A lot of people online are now not getting creative because they're using AI and all this stuff. And that's taken away from the human spirit, in my opinion. So get creative. Make a really professional logo that comes from you and your soul. And uh, let me know your comments below and I will talk to you in the next video.